What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. They didn't know who Cardi was trying to steal. Popular TikToker Clarissa Rankin almost had her vehicle stolen from in front of her house. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Clarissa Rankin. And last night, somebody start, tried to steal my car. But I'm going to show y'all some clips of the video. But I'm going to tell y'all what this little drop cord thing is. Check this out. All right, so that drop cord looking thing is a key detector. So it was a radar to try to uh, sense how co close the key is nearby the car so it can pop the door. Luckily, um, yeah, my key was downstairs, but I got a lot of sensors on the car. So we was able to know that somebody was outside. Another thing is, me and my husband, as soon as we heard the alarms going off, as soon as we heard somebody, the systems, our house alarms going off, we was with all the shit. We already knew what it was. We already knew somebody was trying to steal the car. So we was already down there on it. The no next thing is, um, the only thing I didn't like was the person that was able, he was just able to get too close to my, to my, like, they was able to get in. I didn't like that. But it's okay. It's just a car. Uh, we know what comes with it, but they wasn't able to get it. But it did put us on our toes even more. So we was able to buy even more security for the car, more security for our house. And it's nothing. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, that was, you only had to try to get me one time. And that's it. Like, one time, that's all I need. One time. Even when I'm on the road, you only had to get, try to get me one time. And that was enough for me to teach me a lesson. Okay? But Holly the Scatty is still intact and she's good to go. All right. All right, guys. You heard it for yourself. So all right, guys. <laughs> There's a lot to take in on this one. There's a lot to take in on this one. There's a lot of variables to unpack. So let's try to unpack it, right? Now, everybody knows the popularity of Clarissa Rankin. She's a, a, a popular TikToker. She's a truck driver. Uh, she's, you know, she's known, uh, done a couple of news. She was uh, featured on a lot of podcasts, including mine. And since her popularity on TikTok, you know, she just has exploded into being one of these influential female TikTok truckers that's out here right now with about 1.8 million followers. Now, before I be, before I say anything, I, I just want to say that for me, again, as I said before, there's I, I don't post any and everything on, you know, online or anything like that, like where I live, where I who I drive for, you know, stuff like that. But because of you know, Clarissa Rankin's popularity and her status, you know, I like I said before, a lot of people watch social medias for the wrong reason. And I just want to touch on this one comment that she had in her in one of her posts. I can't find it, so I'm just going to paraphrase it. Uh, one of them says, why didn't they put their cars in the garage? And then one of the commenters came back and said, well, they have their four-wheelers, their motorcycles in the garage. That's why they don't park them in the garage. And I, I kind of stopped myself and I was like, how did you know that? Hey y'all, it's your girl Carissa Rankin. And if you already know, somebody tried to steal my car Sunday at 5.22 a.m. right out my driveway. Um, I know I could have had it in the garage, but I have learned my lesson. Now it's in the garage now. But let me tell y'all, um, the videos has been going viral on all platforms, even other platforms. Knockout 360 posted it, different other Dodge community people posted it. I want us, they didn't know who Cardi was trying to steal. I want 
I would love for you guys to come together and help the CMPD find the people who's tried to steal this car. I have lawyers, doctors, nurses, cashiers, shipping and receiving workers, moms, single parents, and I have some everybody on my platform to watch me on a daily. And y'all know how hard it is to live at, out in this world, especially after getting from a pandemic. So I just want to stop right here and jump in for a hot second and say that <clears throat> As she said that a lot of people, a lot of people watch this young lady on a daily basis, on a daily basis. It's just unfortunate that this is happening. But what you got to do, man, you, you got to watch yourself. I think I think this is the time to say to yourself how much information I want to continue to put out there. Because now these people is close to my home. They know where I live at now. Even though you put your car in the garage and I'm glad you did, but now these people know where you live at. And if they are watching you, because like I said before, I think that this isn't random. Somebody had to know you. Somebody had to know to get close to your house, open up your front door and 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 walk around with that wire thingy. How much information are you still willing to put out there? But to better yet, buy something for yourself, work so hard for it, for it and somebody try to take it. That night, they tried to steal a total of eight cars. And I want to say they was successful at stealing two. I want us to, I want to use this platform as best as we can all come together and try to help catch these people for they will not strike again. I want to use this platform that we work so hard to build. We work so hard to build to even bring justice for the other people that was a victim of this vicious crime too. My mind has not been able to rest. I have been on ease. I am not trusting nobody. I'm always head on a swivel. I feel like somebody's watching me. I feel like somebody's after me. I cannot rest until I really feel like Justice has been served for us as the people that got our car stolen, but just us as hardworking people that work for everything we got. So I'm going to, I'm going to send all the videos in here again. You guys stay and watch the videos, share it, share it, share it, share it, share it, study it, send it to a private investigator, send it to your dad that's a cop, talk to chief, chiefs or ch talk to people that's over the news. Let's get this out here. We can catch these people for us hardworking people can really be able to appreciate and live with our stuff that we don't work so hard for say how you know that make maybe they four wheelers or their motorcycles is behind the house it doesn't necessarily have to be in the garage you know but that's just too much information for a random commenter to just comment on the reason why they don't park their cars in the garage now, as you guys already seen in the videos, you know, I, I'm, I'm confused. Like, somebody actually, it was like about three or four of them or something like that. Now, it could be perceived that it had to be somebody that they know or somebody that was watching them. Right? I mean, think about it. Usually when people do that, type of stuff is usually somebody that they know like I, my house was broken into years ago and come to find out it was done by somebody I knew you know how would somebody come up to your to your front door with some type of device microwave device to to, to block the frequency or get the frequency of your key fob to your car.
How would they know to do that? How would they know to zero in on that particular house? Like, I mean, if that, I mean, the car that they came up to, you know, which was a Dodge, uh, I'm, I, I forgot what model it is, but from my understanding now, uh, it's, it's one of those cars that's easy to, 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 to jack, to steal. You know, all you have to do is put some type of RF blocker and get into the car. They got into the car, as you guys could see. Now, my dad, you know, they probably was deep sleep. They're a family of four, and they probably might have been deep sleep when they actually got in the car. But when the car started, the, the troop, troop, the alarm, troop, troop, the alarm, troop, troop. As soon as we heard the alarms going off, as soon as we heard somebody, the systems, our house alarms going off, we was with all the shit. We already knew what it was. We already knew somebody was trying to steal the car. So we was already down there on that. The no I, I would have been out, yo, I, I would have been out like, yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they ran off. Of course, they didn't get the car because the the additional security mechanisms that she has on the car. But just imagine if she didn't. They would have got the car. They would have drove off. I mean, this is just my opinion, Clarissa, and please don't take it the wrong way, but I think it's just, you know, the status quo. I think somebody was watching you, you know. I think somebody was watching you, and I think it's somebody that you know. All right, future me back again uh, to jump in on this edit right quick. I came across another comment or sorts and I don't know I, I, I don't know I, I, I don't think that this was for publicity I, I really don't think so um, some people in the comment session thinks that this is staged for more views for more accolations I'm, I'm sorry ma'am I'm sorry, sir, but I don't know. I mean, I honestly, I really don't take TikTok for much validity anymore because there is a lot of scammy stuff that goes on this app. You know, there, there just a lot of scamminess on this app. A lot of people are trying to get TikTok famous a lot of people just doing stuff, saying things, and not giving no more validity to this app anymore. But in this particular situation, no, no. I mean, Clarissa could be a lot of things, but something like this for publicity? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just kind of finding that hard to believe though but i do believe that whoever it was and it was about like three four of them whoever it was zeroed in on her house and whoever it was know her they might not know her personally but they probably know of her so yeah i mean you know, shout out to the 
to the security system that diverted all of that stuff. But I don't know. I, I, I just think now, like I said earlier, I just think now how much is too much that you want to really keep giving to people? You're, you're a popular TikToker with, again, with 1.8 million followers. And again, like I said before in the beginning, a lot of these people is not following you just because they like you. See, to me, I just think people just leave way too much information for people to gather and for that one commenter to come in and actually say, well, they keep they, they, they four wheelers and their motorcycles locked inside the garage. That's just way too much information. Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. Mm, no, venti is 20. Now I know, you know, I, I, I understand, you know, where Clarissa came from. I mean, again, like I said, I had the pleasure of, of talking to her and it was a great conversation to see where she, where she came from to where she at right now. It's a hell of a journey. Hell of a journey. I mean, you guys should go and check out her start on YouTube and then her continuation over here on TikTok. But still, though, I, I just think that there's just just a little, maybe a little, you know, we can we can hold back. Just a little. Because again, like I said, people is watching, they're lurking. They paying attention to who you are, and they're not <laughs> they're they're not there to like you. You know, they're not there to like you. So, you know, my my thing is this: I you know, just be careful as your popularity grow. So does the need for safety. I'm gonna say. The need for a little bit more security, you know, because these people found out where you stay. You know, you might need you might you might need security for your family. You know, a little bit more safety for yourself. You know, it it is all something to think about. Drivers, that's my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. My radio, believe me, I like it loud. I'm a man with a box that can rock the crowd. Walking down the street.